Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Nerd Out Gaming. On today's episode, I'm going to be going over a couple of the maps in Armored Kill, the new expansion for Battlefield 3. Um, I really like this expansion. It's pretty, uh, pretty well done. Um, I really am enjoying the new maps. They're um, very large, um, big maps. The complete opposite from Close Quarters, which was the last expansion um, they released a few months ago. Um, compared to close quarters, um, you know, I don't know. I kind of like close quarters just because, you know, it puts all the guys in a tight area. Um, this is a lot more vehicle heavy, basically. So every time you spawn, um, there's pretty much going to be a vehicle available that you can get into, um, and drive away in. They added a couple new vehicles. They have some new tanks. There's a new helicopter. There's, um plane which you can actually see flying around there and um, it has gunner gunner positions you can't control the plane but you can um, get in it and fire the weapons and also you can paradrop from that plane behind enemy lines which is very uh, useful because sometimes it's hard to um, flank the enemy if they have a ton of vehicles and stuff so here we're attacking this point we're gonna try to take it um, trying to hit these guys here that are hiding in the rocks. And by the way guys, I'll be releasing a video soon with details on the uh, headset contest that I'm running. Uh, I announced it in my previous video. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do is um, you know, pick a random active subscriber like people were saying. Um, I might even ask people to uh, leave a comment, like do a number one through a thousand, like I'll pick a number and then whoever gets the closest to that will win if you, um, I'll go over the details in the next video. That's not going to be uh, in this video. I just wanted to assure you that I am working on that and it'll be coming. So here um, we're under quite a bit of fire. Uh, there's like a mobile artillery vehicle that shoots these huge rockets um, and that is pretty deadly. It's a really weak vehicle. Um, if you hit it, it's only, it only takes like a shot or two to kill but so you can see those rockets raining down. That's really cool. I have to say that this is the best uh, first person shooter overall. I mean the amount of variety in this game, the graphics, that just I don't know. I've played a lot of shooters, and this is this is definitely my favorite. So, anyways, I'm gonna do a little, you know, just a little commentary over this and tell you guys my basic strategy. So, when I first started playing Armored Kill, I was getting killed a lot, and then I realized you have to take a different approach than what you would take in you know, say close quarters or, you know, the car can maps. You can't really just rush in there. Um, <clears throat> you know, most most players are some sort of engineer class or the uh, support class so that they can, um, you know, take out vehicles and stuff. And uh, if you get too close, you're going to get uh, destroyed pretty quickly. So here, as you can see, the other guys are starting to move up to this position so I'm gonna you know I'm providing them support from the ridge here but in a second I am gonna go drive up there take a closer look alright so right here I got a nice kill on that guy I'm not sure why he was sitting there but I noticed, you know, um, kind of a pattern that, uh, you know, seems like if you're on a good team, you know, you'll kind of like rally around a point which you're going to take, and then everyone kind of pushes forward together. There, I got two kills. That was really nice. And, uh, yeah, you know, just kind of stick with your team. You don't want to go in there by yourself. Um, you always want to watch out for mines because uh, mines are just really good in this. Um, you know, I use them very frequently. 
There's so many vehicles that if you put mines on roads, uh, you're bound to get some kills. So they are getting um, hit by the long range rocket fire. So there I use the uh, smoke to um, avoid a rocket. It's a very good strategy. And right here I actually dodged the rocket by you know, going behind the building. The rocket hit the front of the building. So if you're paying attention to what's going on and um, things like that, you can, you know, you can survive a little bit longer. Not really pushing forward here. I did get hit with the rocket there. So I have the mines. I don't have the repair kit, so I can't fix the vehicle, but um, there's so many vehicles in this that you really don't need the repair kit. Um, you know, it's nice to have, but whenever I'm on foot, I, I like to drop mines. You know, so that uh, I can get some free kills, basically. I like to put them near the enemy's, um, you know, bases and stuff like that. Okay guys, so I am going to pick up the commentary um, when the map changes here in a minute or two, and uh, I'll catch you guys at that point.
Alright guys, so this is the Death Valley map in the Armored Kill expansion. And uh, as I'm flying over, you can kind of see that it is a bunch of points sort of closely together on the side of like a mountain ridge top. There's a big, big drop off the, the back side of the map with a, a couple large bridges and things like that. So, um, hopped out of the helicopter. We're going to cap the point. Looks like we already got it. And um, what I like to do since I don't have a tank is I am just going to stay near the tanks. Just kind of give them support, stuff like that. Just nearly missed a uh, rocket attack there. And I have to give uh, credit to the uh, map designers um, because... This has, these have to be some of the best maps I've ever played. Um, right here I'm going to, you know, put some mines on this road. Uh, later on I'll actually get a kill from these mines, but, um, you know, I like to put them, place them down. So I skip forward a little bit. Here we're capping a point. Just smoke some guy on a ATV. Uh, one little tip I like to use is if you hit the C button when you're in these uh, little gunner positions, sometimes you can get a better uh, view because the window is kind of limits your view. So I'll hit C so I can see what's actually going on. So here we're just kind of holding the bridge position. Um, it's a good spot to kind of uh, get the upper hand, I guess. You can see a couple of the capture points from this spot, so I'm pretty sure that's why the, the driver's sitting there. So as you can see, these maps are really huge. Um, you know, that's why you really want a vehicle. You know, pretty much at all times, you want to stay near some vehicles and stuff like that. Unless you're in a team, you know, like a squad, or you're playing with your friends and, and you have, you know, um, you have things worked out better, I guess. And uh, the one thing I was going to say is that, um, you know, you probably want to play as engineer most of the time um, at least that's what I've been doing because uh, there's no way you can really take out the enemy you know if they're in a tank okay so here I get uh, one of the new helicopters and this is a really really cool helicopter you can kind of just float kind of perch in one spot float around and it's got some pretty awesome machine guns, as you'll see in a second here. Definitely one of my more uh, favorite vehicles of this expansion. Well, there I get hit. And, uh, should have probably bailed out. <laughs> Those guys are waiting for the helicopter. I was just messing with them there. I find the helicopters to be way more um, easy to control than the plane. The plane moves so quickly that it's it's really difficult. But I wanted to fly over just so you guys could see the scale of this map, how large it really is. Um, this really cool map, you know. A really nice design. I mean, this looks like a place that could actually, you know, exist. So 
Good. Hit there. Trying to hold it together. And um, what I like to do is, you know, I'll hit that flare at the last second. But I'm out of flares. I'm going to parachute out. And this one nice thing you can do in this game, if, like, notice how I drop to their very furthest point. Um, you know, you could just fly the vehicle in and drop down in there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to get killed here, but, you know, you get the point. What you can do is fly, you know, fly in, drop in in the back, and uh, it'll force some guys to retreat, you know. So anyways, I want to show you guys how awesome this helicopter is here. I'm just going to get up in the air. It's basically like the little bird, but the Russian version. You can just hover this thing and just destroy people. like the further away you are the more like less accurate it is so I'm um, gonna move in here help defend this point show you just how powerful this gun is so there's some guys down there somewhere can't really see them but just firing into the buildings and uh oh, got one guy there But yeah, what's really nice about this helicopter is it just kind of hovers really well. Um, it doesn't have much armor. It's really easy to take out, but... And what you can actually do, you may have seen people do this, but... You can actually cap the point from midair, like I'm doing right there. If you get low enough, you can actually... Uh, you're in the area where you could actually cap it. A little bit of lag there. Anyways guys, I just wanted to hit you up with the video showing Armored Kill for anyone who is interested or uh, thinking about getting it. It's definitely uh, worth the money. I'm enjoying it and uh, you know, if you already have Battlefield Premium, um, you you should get it free. Just download it. Uh, there, there's also one more expansion coming out, I believe, in a couple months. So, look forward to that. Until then, guys, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be posting, um, you know, the contest information um, shortly. So. Once I have that finalized, I will post that probably next week sometime. Till then, peace out, guys.